in the mall, who was the most impressive bodybuilder you've seen in the gym? You just talked about Lou Ferrigno. Who impressed you the most? That's because he dropped his weights. Well, um, there, let me just say this. I've always found something impressive about every pro bodybuilder. Hmm. You know, uh, one may have great arms. Another one may have a great back. Uh, you know, one may have great symmetry. There's, there's, uh, I, they, they've all impressed me. Hmm. Uh, in terms of just, I'm going to say imposing, like just physically imposing, mm. I would say that Ronnie Coleman <laughs> at his peak was untouchable. Wow. It, you know, um, I mean, there were, there were, there's, and if we're honest, there's not a single one of us that could have stood next to him. You know, I mean, just in terms of uh, the, uh, the sheer size and muscularity and, and, and whatnot, it was just uh, truly uh, an amazing physical specimen. Lee, 1992, Helsinki, Finland. You're all backstage. Did you even spot Ronnie Coleman backstage? <laughs> I got a funny story to tell you about that one. Oh, so, come on. Uh, yes, this is gold. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so Ronnie, Ronnie Coleman, uh, Ronnie Coleman um, comes uh, uh, to the airport in Houston. I'm waiting to jump on the airplane with my wife to jump uh, on an airplane to Helsinki, hmm. Finland, in 1992. And I see Ronnie Coleman walking down the uh the tarmac there uh, i'm sorry not the tarmac the uh, hall mm. and uh, uh approaching the gate mm -hmm. and i get to talking to him because he's from texas also and, and he tells me in his in that in that unique voice he goes lee he goes <laughs> i just won the ifb mr universe i'm 225 pounds and i'm all natural cool. and i'm looking at it and i'm going oh man come on can you can this guy really be natural, all natural? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a 225 pounds with a 21 inch arm Oof, yeah. and you know what looking back i believe him yeah i mean it's just uh, the the genetics that this guy had were just were just off the hook mm -hmm. just off the hook yeah so that was uh that was that was uh interesting he took 12th at uh, i want to say he took 12th in his first olympia mm. um you know and it's it's really it's really kind of interesting because uh you know once he hit a stride and uh, broke into number one there wasn't anybody that could touch him yeah you know um but uh just it just goes to show you the transformation that he made yeah. from the time he turned to a pro yeah. 